Hey guys, you're with Hero Bios, and today we're going to be playing some Earthbound. Now this game is a game that I saw when I was a little bit younger, and I'm like, hey, this looks cool. And oh look, it's Ness. It's Ness. Super Smash Bros. Ness. I hadn't known what he was from before, so I did a little research, and I'm like, oh, Earthbound, that's cool. And yeah, I just got into this, and I'm like, man, this is sick. I've been through, um most of it but I haven't finished it yet so I was hoping we could do that together I'm really excited this is gonna be awesome okay let's see we're going to do medium sound setting stereo of course I always go plain it just feels more straightforward I don't know but comment down below which one you think is your favorite do you like plain, mint, strawberry, banana, or peanut? I don't know. We'll have to see. But plain is my favorite. All right. Please name him. We're going to go default. I want to see some of the other ones. There's Alec. Oh, that's a character in Mother 3. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, Roger. Will. Brian. Tyler. Lane. And Ness. We're going to go with Ness. Okay. But let's see. She's Paula. Or she could be Nancy. Sky. Paige. Marie. Ollie. Jane. Huh. These are some really cool names. Actually, I didn't realize. Hmm, excuse me. Some of these could be. Uh, Jeff, Dan, Henry. I like Henry. Or Isaac. It's another Mother 3 character. Ralph, Sean, Rob. I like Jeff. There's. Two. Uh, Kato, Kai. Omar, R Ramen, <laughs> uh, Aziz, wait, uh, forgive me for any of these, um, I could be slaughtering these pronunciations, I, I probably am, uh, Poo, we're gonna go with that, if that's how you pronounce it, let's see, uh, it could be King, Peach, Sparky, Rex, Baby, Rover, Misty, Alec King. Favorite homemade food. Okay, I have a preference with this one. I know his favorite food's technically supposed to be steak, but honestly, hmm, I don't know actually. I don't think it'll fit. Hmm. Salmon. You, 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 I, I hope he likes salmon. Because that's how you spell it. We're gonna go through the defaults. Steak, pie, pasta. Ooh, pasta's a good one. Cake. Um, egg. Eggs. Oh, I thought they meant raw. I'm just like, that's not good. Um, bread. Salmon. Ooh. I like pasta. Pasta, honestly, is as the Italians put it. Okay, I, I, I would like to do this one. Uh, no. Perfect. Awesome. Are we sure? Yep, we are. The year is 1990X. There's a hotel. Heartbreak Hotel. Elvis Presley. Uh, uh, okay. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it, uh, I like to say Onet. I usually just call it Onet. But technically, if it's following the, the 
the pattern? Wouldn't it just be want? It's always been like a, a confusion with me. I have to see what the Google Translate puts it as. Ooh. Sorry, it's time for adventure. Cool. Wait, do I have anything? Oh, I have my ATM card already. Hey. Hey you, hey Tracy. Hey bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? I was, Tracy. I now have PTSD. This is this incident. I'm scared. Tracy, hey, okay. Can you just sleep on your desk? You guys scared. Dang it, no response. Ness, open the present. There is a cracked bat inside. Use. The cracked bat is one of the items that can be equipped. Why can't you just equip it? Just do it for me. Thank you. You can put your uh, ATM card. Is that a defense mechanism? Can you just whap? Hey, I have money. You're not allowed to hit me. Oh, well. My bad. I wish all battles would work out that way. It's like Ness. It's like, I got the cash. You're not allowed to hit me. Oh, hey, Mom. What's up? What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Sounds like Ness is kind of wild. At least when it comes to, uh... Obeying his parents. It's probably just his childlike sense of uh, curiosity. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Good question, King. But apparently he didn't hear the meteor I fall, so... Oh, is it, this is a fancy boy. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Uh... Okay, imagine this. We live in 2019. If a meteorite fell from the sky... Actually... I feel like there was some stuff in... Russia that happened not too long ago that was kind of like that. Hmm. I have to look that up. On it. Police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. Don't panic! It's just a... What? Meteorite that... Who? Fell. I just wanna... What? Go home. Watch your language. I think I, ca I, I catch the, the theme of what was going on there. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite. I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Oh no. He's so fast. Look at how fast he's going. Whoa. I'm not going to be able to get there in time. I want to be the first. See ya. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. I feel you, man. I feel you. Hunger. Being hangry is like one of the worst feelings ever. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Take this! No, okay. That would be fun, though. It's like giving me an item. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? <laughs> hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? No, actually, I, I really don't. Hey, Ness, hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom! It was a real mess for a while. I was fine, because I always eat garlic and work out to help my bo- to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker city. 
However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also wanted to tell you... Oops! I almost told you about my, uh... Uh... By the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the best as myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter. This is Liar Exaggerate's house. Yes, you are. That meteor looks different than usual. Wait, you've seen other meteorites? It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Yeah, we're friends. You live in, his, in the house next to his, I see. Hey, Ness, what's... I mean... Uh, Pokey, my bad. I don't know. Hey, Ness! Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. No, Pokey. I'm not going to let you talk to him. Dang it! <laughs> as soon as I move, he's like, wow! Shh! Shh! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Out way out! Of way get out! Out! Get. Mm. Wow! Clear out! Of way out get my! Whoops! My mistake. I mean. Get out of my way! Makes sense. Although I would not like to heed his advice. I think we should go home. Wait, I've always been confused with Pokey's face. Here, turn turn face this way, boy. Yeah, there you go. Like, his his mouth. Is he just always in surprise? Because I think I figured out by now that the um the arch is his nose. I don't know. I'm just confused. I, it's it's a it's a marvel, marvel of anatomy, I suppose. Home again, home again. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. No. <laughs> oh, Ness, you don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep. I do what I want, Mom. Can't do Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Welcome home, Ness. Yeah, I agree. Let's go to bed. It's good for growing children to have lots of sleep. Hmm. That noise. Tracy again. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. I I think it's kind of jazzy. Can like jam out to this. My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? See, I could have been doing this awesome voice acting. Would you answer it? Yes, I will answer it. Hey, what's up, King? I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Good idea. Oop! Oh! It's pokey. Hey! L listen to what I've got to say! When I took Pikachu to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing... The meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Pikachu was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault. At all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Sure. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out our Tyler at the overhead time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change it out of your jammies before you leave. I wonder if we can leave in our jammies. I just refuse to talk to talk to mom. 
Hey, Tracy. I'll do everything I can do. Uh, oh, sorry. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Oh, thanks, Tracy. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? No, I'm okay. Be careful. Yeah, sure. You're cool. Whatever. That was very encouraging of you, Mom. Thank you. I, I really feel I can, I can do it now. I can really do it. <sighs> do you want me to go with you? Nah, you're okay, King. Oh, I get it. You just wanted to talk to me because I'm so lovable. Yeah, you're right. I want- Ooh, can we not take King? Alright, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you. Oh, the phone is ringing. Go answer that. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Thanks, Dad. Do you have your ATM card? Yep, that's the first thing we check. Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Alright, it's time to go. <gasps> you can leave without King? Oh my goodness. No, I want King. Go back. <laughs> Actually, okay. If we die, then, then, then I'll take King along. I'm actually kind of scared we'll die. Yeah, just kind of come at me, dog. You engage the runaway dog. All right. I want King because he he does extra damage. We're gonna go back and get him and maybe heal up a little bit too. Life up, nice. Alright. Yes, I want you to go with me. Because I have no choice. Let's go. Thank you, King. King joins you. Okay. You save. Yes. Uh, okay, reward. Nice. Hey, you're hungry already? Why don't you have some pasta? Pokey, you don't like pasta, do you? Too bad. Here we go. Alright. Oh crap, another runaway dog. Yes, we actually we probably need the EXP. Let's go. How legal is Earthbound? See, so many que so many questions. Hey Ness, like I said, my dad isn't home yet. You gotta bring Picky back before he comes home. I'll try to help you a little. You've done nothing. You have done absolutely nothing. I'm sorry, I love Pokey as a character, but... <sighs> Sometimes I just can't. Come at me, Snake. Snake, boy! Hey, cool, snake. Ouch. No, leave me alone. That other dog didn't do anything. <laughs> No! Bad! Be nice. Yes. Did you leave something behind in a present? Nope, I guess not. Oh! Ah. Yes, the course. Oh! Whoa! Nice! Even though it didn't really do all that much. 
I get one EXP. So really, this isn't helping me much. Hey, it's a liar exaggerate. Hey, Ness. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. From here, you not gotta tell me anything about this hole? Actually, what is this hole? Why is it here? Why am I here? Hmm. Oh, oof! If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. No, King, come back. He's like our only hope. Okay. WAKE UP! What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Man, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Me too. Picky. I was very insightful. Picky joined too. Yes! Do you hear a buzzing sound that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Is it coming from the meteorite that is lighting up? A bee, I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And, in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of the eternal darkness. However, you must listen where I am from. There is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are their boy, Ness. This, I believe. Gygus is... Ma yeah, sorry. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. The evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Because I can listen to a bee talk. But he's kind of cool. I, li I like Buzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ness! It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because... I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Man, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Let's go home, boys. You guys are gonna get in so much trouble. You think I'm in trouble? Wait until you guys get home. You're the ones who have parents waiting for you. Oh, whoa. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at spoiling Master Gigas' plans. But, 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 you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stop you hard. Uh-oh. The Starman Jr. blocked the way! Alright, let's use our, uh... Never mind, I don't have any offensive PK. PSI. Psy, I guess. Yay. We're all protected. Hook tried to edge closer to the enemy. Man, this is intense. Oh, 
Oh, so. Okay, um. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself, sorry. Nice. Buzz Buzz is carrying. Nice, max out. Alright, I'm ready to help. Now. Man, this, these psychic shields really help. Oh, nice. Ah, ha! Ah. Sorry. Whoa! From a little bee dude just going Nice. Leveled up. Thirteen! Nice! I'm really excited. Whew! I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth. So listen. Hello. I found your children. Where in Sand Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Yes, you will. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now! Uh oh. Ooh. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guy's been flashed. That's the story of our life. Yep. Sure. Aye! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Uh oh. Buzz Buzz, no. He fought the star man, dude. <sighs> uh, okay. Buzz Buzz, are you okay? Ah! Uh. <gasps> I was much weaker than I thought. So, you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gaius, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant's Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Alright. You are a very intelligent young man. And... Oh! The pain! Everything is going dark. Ugh. Before I pass on... I want to give you something. This is gonna make me cry. It is the soundstone. You can you can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh! Ness got the soundstone. Poor Buzz Buzz, he disappeared. That makes me so sad. What did you do? I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. My husband is very soft hearted. Unlike you, you killed my freaking best friend. What's wrong with you? <sighs> well. That's sad.
Okay, I think we're going to leave it off right there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm really excited to continue this adventure. I'm sorry, I'm tearing up a little bit. Oh, I really like Buzz Buzz. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. We'll continue our adventure next time. And, uh, have a good day and have good gaming. Thanks, guys.